To automatically blend two photos in Photoshop, we need to first of all select the subject from the background. Once you've got yourself a selection, go ahead and duplicate it. And we're also going to get ourselves a selection of the air bubbles as well. Once again, duplicate this layer. Make sure it's above the scuba diver. And for now, we're just going to hide these two layers and we'll use them a little bit later on. We can now go over to the second image. And once again, get yourself a selection of your second image. Go ahead and duplicate this layer as well. And we're just going to move this shark over to the main image. From here, you can scale it up, reposition it where you want it to be. We can also move it underneath the person and have a look, see what this is going to look like. Once you're happy with the location, we can hide this layer. You want to go ahead and duplicate your layer, hide the one underneath it, keep this one as a backup. We're just going to also hide the shark and we need to remove the person by getting yourself a selection. Go to Generative Fill and click on Generate. This will automatically patch this up and remove the person. We can combine these two layers, convert it into a smart object, and you want to also rasterize layer as well. We can bring the shark back and to automatically blend these two together, you want to get yourself a selection of the shark, mask out a cutout in this background, Select in both layers, go to edit, down to auto blend layers. Make sure this one is selected alongside these two options as well. And then this will automatically blend them together. And as you can see, it's done a really good job on blending these two images together. We can now bring back the scuba diver. We can also bring back the air bubbles. And to blend the air bubbles, all we need to do is get yourself a brightness and contrast. Set the contrast to all the way to minus 50. Clip it onto this layer as well. And then slightly add some brightness. You want to get yourself a hue and saturation. Set this one to minus somewhere around 57 and then set the effect for the air bubbles to pin light. And there we go.